Okay, guys. <laughs> so, I did a little research. Turns out this stove, not exceptionally well made, which is shocking since it was a, the cheapest one I could find. <laughs> um, so, the uh, inside... There is a metal plate along the top uh, that allows smoke to go up and around and over. Uh, and then there is a piece of um, fiberglass wool on top of it that covers the whole top of the stove. The purpose of this, apparently as I understand it, is that it traps the smoke inside the stove longer so that the smoke uh, uh, is combusted, is burnt up, and the uh, the exhaust that comes out of the chimney is much cleaner. That's why the stove is EPA certified. The problem, I finally found uh, online a number of people who have had problems with this stove with that wool, uh, sh piece of wool. Um, apparently this stove, I don't know if it's not secured or what, but it tends to bunch. It's they, it, A lot of people are having this problem. It took me a long time to find the message boards, but I finally found where a lot of people are having that same issue with this precise stove. The solution? <sighs> take out the wool. So it does make it not EPA certified. I, it doesn't matter. I don't have any legalities uh, in my instance. You know, I don't have building codes uh, in a bus in a cornfield. <laughs> um, I would like it to be better for the environment, but uh, if this is my only option, this is my only option. So we're going to pull this wool out, see what happens. I'm going to try to take it out through the flue through the chimney. Um, if it doesn't come out that way, this is going to be a bigger operation. I'm going to have to take the stove apart. Um, so, fingers crossed. Let's try to pull this out. Okay, so... First thing I'm going to do is take this out. Luckily, it is not well... <laughs> uh, it's not secured yet, so I can go right there. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, this wool is almost like completely blocking this thing. I don't... I don't understand how this could work. I don't know if it has gotten bunched down or what, but something has happened. Sorry, I got a text message. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. Okay, get this damper out of here. Sorry for the dinging, but I'm popular, y'all. There we go. All right, out. Okay, damper, out. Yeah, y'all, I'm gonna show this to you. I do not know how the smoke could possibly get out of there. So take a look at this. So you can also see that uh, <laughs> Some leaves fell in there because um, I don't have my chimney cap on yet. But do we see this wool? See how that's like, uh, it's hard. It's almost like sealed around these edges. I do not, for the life of me, understand how that would work. <laughs> I just don't. So I don't know, we're gonna pull it out, guys. I don't know, oh man. Okay, we're gonna do it. Okay, so it feels like this 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 uh, insulation got like smashed up to this end, which I don't know. If, I mean, I, obviously that's not normal, but I think that's what happened. I think it was like blocking the flu. So I don't know if a higher quality version of this stove would have it like stabilized somehow. I don't know. I do not know the answer. Okay, so I didn't get all the insulation out. I'm gonna see if this did the trick. I don't know if it did. It's definitely not blocked back here. So I would love I'd love to find out that this is like now open and we are good to go. A 
don't know. Definitely still feels blocked. Got a hanger. <laughs> okay. I'm really trying to avoid having to take this thing apart. You can, but uh, I don't want to <laughs> um, at all. So let's do this. Is not exactly what I was expecting. Got to move you all a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to get up in here. Hey Jeffrey, are you making a mess? Yep, sure am. <laughs> sure am. But guess who's getting the job done? That's right. It's me. <laughs> okay. So I applied it. I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, wet rag. Clean it up just a tad. Okay. So that's sealed. We'll be back in an hour. Yes! Waiting for this wood stove situation to uh, suss itself out. It should be noted, I think the rodent situation has been remedied. <clears throat> um, I did a lot of research on traps and what my options were, but in the meantime, Big Jack actually put um, uh, poison throughout the whole farm, and uh, I did it. <laughs> he put out a lot of poison. Uh, you know, if you put out poison, you have to be careful where it goes, especially because we have a lot of dogs out. But um, between the dogs and the poison, and also we have a, an owl, we have a barn owl who has taken up shop. It is so cool looking. It hoots at me every night. Uh, super cool. Uh, anyway, between the owl, the poison, and the dogs, I think, I think we're, I think we're done. I, we haven't seen any more rodents. No more boxes chewed up by rats. Uh, I think we're okay. Okay, so, um... It's been going for a few minutes. There's no smoke, as you can see, no smoke coming out. Uh, so that's good. Um, let's check the fire. Oh, yeah, it's going. Oh man, and no smoke is coming out. <gasps> oh my gosh. <coughs> well, it's coming out when I open the door. But you guys, oh, I think it, I think we did it. OMG, yes, oh. OMG, you guys, I think it might be working. <laughs> I'm not gonna get too excited. I'm gonna give it a few minutes because it's not, you know, like raging hot yet. Um, but there's no smoke coming out. There was definitely way a lot more smoke coming out before, even when it was just, I mean, it's been going for about four or five minutes, but, um, I think, you guys, it's official. It's officially official. The stove is up and running. <laughs> it is so warm in here. <clears throat> uh, check this out. We got a blazing fire. Woo. Crap. <laughs> you guys, how do I work it? There we go. It is warm, like I can't sit too close. I was trying to sit in this chair and it was too warm. It was such a wonderful, 
wonderful problem to have. It's only like 40 degrees outside, so it's not like super, super cold. At some point, I'll do a proper review video of this stove, but my thoughts right now, you know, like I think it's gonna be fine, but I have to say like it's been a nightmare. <laughs> The whole process, including the old stove and everything, has been kind of uh, a nightmare, but especially this one. I mean, I had such problems with backdrafting, and even still when I open the door, I get a lot of smoke in. So I think I have, I, I, there's a way to fix that. We'll, we'll get to it later, but we've got to close these wood stove videos down. What is this, part four or 67? But the bottom line is, finally have it figured out. I have heat. <sighs> I'll put the link in the description box below for the stove. I'll also put the link for uh, this double wall stove pipe I bought, as well as the silicone uh, flange adapter thingy. Um, I'll also put the link for my spark arresting uh, chimney cap that I bought. So I'll include everything. Um, and it should also be noted that um, <clears throat> this, my heat shield is working really well. This is very warm, but the concrete behind it is not at all. So. Um, finally, guys, finally. Oh, hi. I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can. Subscribe here. You won't miss a thing. Or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here. Or just click here. Watch another video.